Okay, today's gonna be a good one. I got, I got, yo, this dude's podcast is sick. For anybody out there who's not familiar with it, this brother personality is off the chain. Shout to my man, Ugly Money Nietzsche. Nietzsche, welcome to the show, my brother. What's up, brother? Sean Prez, I appreciate you having me, man. It's a, it's a, it's an honor. Nah, man, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, we got a chance to speak offline for the first time a um, so, week or two ago. And truth be told, I love your personality, kid. I love your story. Um, and I knew I just had to get you involved in what we was doing over here. So hopefully this will not be the last time you'll be on this show, brother. Locked in for life, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> okay. You do this podcast thing. You've been doing you know, how long have you been in radio before doing the podcast thing? Well, I was doing, I started in radio back in 2012. I was in uh, Augusta, Georgia on a clear channel station. And, uh, you know, I just was moving around in the city. I was making a lot of noise in Augusta. You know, I was in the streets throwing parties and, you know, I was doing some music rapping and, you know, was making a lot of noise. <clears throat> Our program director, you know, scheduled me with me, tells me to come to his office. And, uh, you know, I had a little case of the big head back then. I thought I was the best thing since, you know, sliced bread. So I'm like, yeah, I'm about to be on the radio. And, you know, I walk in this man's office and uh, he makes me drive the van for a year. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was the van driver for the radio station for a full year. And, you know, later on, he told me, he said, you know, I just wanted to see if you was humble enough to, you know, to to drive the van, you know, and, and, and you know, and didn't, didn't capitalize on your uh on your opportunity when it came. So, you know, I drove that van proudly, you know, and, and learned a lot. And then he finally gave me, a, you know, he finally gave me a break in 2013. And uh, we ended up having a lot of success. I had uh, one of the top rated shows in Augusta. That's dope. That's dope. And you know something like real talk, because I, you know, my background, I come from the music industry and yeah. I, I did four internships for free. Worked literally four internships before I even made my way to Bad Boy. Bad Boy was my fifth internship, yep. none of which were paid. And when people ask you, because our mouths, you know, yeah. can say, I want this. Yo, I, I really want to do that. I want this. I want that. But when push come to shove and a nigga throw you at the bottom of the list just to test how dedicated <laughs> you are and how much you really already to sacrifice for what your mouth say you actually want. Most people, nah, I can't do it. I need to get paid. I need to start out and be sitting at the head of the table. I came here to be on the air. I didn't come here to be yeah. driving no street team van. Nah. So whenever yeah. I hear stories <laughs> like that, I love them because those are the stories that need to be told. People see, yeah. you know, personalities and they see celebrities and they see people who are getting it when they're on top i wish mm. that more stories like that were, were told and more were shown to the world that whenever you see somebody at the top nine times out of ten they grinded double time for sure at the bottom to get to where they yeah. are today yeah that's a fact you know a lot of people uh especially in today's climate uh they deal with like immediate gratification it's just like yo i want it instantly and, uh, you know, behind everybody that you feel that blew up overnight was four or five years of struggling, you know, maybe some extra years of just figuring it out. It's just you heard about them overnight. Uh, you know, most of the successful people that I've come in contact with had been there for years. It's just that people just woke up on them whenever their moment came. And so, you know, just, you know, being prepared and then your moment comes and the fact that you're prepared, you can maximize on the moment when the opportunity comes. And I was always the guy was like, Hey, when they give me a shot, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to seize the moment. I'm going to already be prepared for whenever my opportunity or whatever situation comes, you know. And so, uh, you know, that's that's how I've always been. Like, I'm like, hey, I understand the long haul. I understand the big the bigger picture. And it was like, you know, I don't want to jump over a dollar trying to pick up a penny because it's shiny. Damn, that's and a lot hard. of people do. That is hard, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I just rather I just rather, you know, run the process. And that's what that's what the, the whole ugly money brand embodies. You know, it's the process of success. 
the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, the the lessons and wins. You know what I'm saying? So uh, and that's why I changed, you know, I changed my name to Ugly Money because it was just like, you know, my career has been a roller coaster. And I've had to reinvent myself so many times, uh, sometimes because I wanted to, sometimes because I didn't, you know, sometimes out of necessity. But uh, everything that I've learned on the way has made me a stronger uh, man, father and businessman, you know, along the way. So, you know, those those lessons are those, you know, people think they're losses, but they're really lessons because you can literally monetize your failures. You can teach somebody how not to do something by failing. And so the fact that it may take me five years to get a certain place, I could teach you in five minutes. Well, now I got some value. Now I can in turn, you know, create a whole nother business off of the fact that I can save you five years off some knowledge that took me five, you know, took me five years to make. And I can tell it to you in five minutes. And so that's what, you know, that situation with the radio station, Um, you know, I was looking at bigger picture. I'm like, OK, this is a bigger platform for me to get you know, my face and, and, you know, and everything recognized and money is not the only form of payment. I don't understand why a lot of people think that, you know, money is the only thing. Actually, it's, it's really a low form of payment. <laughs> you, know I mean? uh, you know, relationships are worth way more than money because uh, as long as you have a solid relationship, you're always going to be able to make money. And so I always look at, I'll always look at things like that. Like, Hey, I just want to be here. I want to be in this industry. Cause this is what I feel that God put me on this earth to do. And so, um, you know, any anything on my, when I was on my come up, anything that I could do to be in this industry that was in my moral compass, you know, I was I was there, whether I was paid, you know, whether I was compensated or not, because, you know, after a while, the person that works harder than he's paid is going to be paid more than what he's what he works. So, you know, hopefully soon <laughs> those roles will switch because uh, I've been the guy that's always worked harder than what he was paid. But uh that means that you're going to be an asset in everywhere, every room you step in. Every time I walk in the room, if there's not a way that I can bring some value here, then I need to get out that room. Damn. And so I immediately walk into a place or, or any kind of situation like, okay, how can I be an asset? How can I bring value? And how can I make, how can I raise the, the bar up in this room? Because if I do that, then now I'm going to, I'm certainly always going to be allowed in this room. I'm always going to be welcomed. Uh, they're going to want me in this room. And so uh, a lot of times people try to go in a room and say, what can I take from it? What can I take? What can I learn? What can I get? What can I, I'm the type of person, what can I give? Okay. Well, and I look at the gap like, oh, okay. There's a gap in the market here Well, nobody's doing, you know, pod, nobody's doing like industry podcast in Atlanta. Well, maybe I need to find a way to get in there. And so a lot of the things that I've done in my career is just really me trying to provide value to where value wasn't already there. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.